This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the cumulative interest payment function. This function is simply used to calculate the cumulative interest that you have paid between two periods. So I have some information here. I have a loan amount of $100,000, total number of payments 360, and an interest rate of 5%. So I'm going to select the cumulative interest payment, which is abbreviated as C-U-M-I-P-M-T, select it and click OK. Now for most loans, the interest rate is quoted to you as an annual interest rate. However, for this loan, we're going to be making a payment every month, which is 12 payments in a year. So we must get the monthly interest rate, not the annual interest rate. So to do that, we're simply going to divide by 12. So I'm going to select my interest rate, press the forward slash key and type in the number 12 to get a monthly interest rate. In the in per field, that is simply the total number of payments for the loan. For most mortgages, it's 360 payments. The PV field is the present value of the loan, which is $100,000. Now the start period and the end period. The start period is simply going to be period one, the end period is going to be 360 because once again we're making a total of 360 payments. And if you uh, tab down to type, you're either going to enter in a 1 or a 0 for the timing of the payment. Uh, you enter in a 1 if you're making your payments at the beginning of the period. You enter in a 0 if you're making a payment at the end of a period. And most mortgages or loans, you make a payment at the end of a period and we're going to type in 0 and then click OK. Now the total amount of interest that you're going to pay for this 30-year mortgage is going to be $93,255. And that's how you use the cumulative interest function. If you have any questions, please email me. Once again, this is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.